know if I can follow that up. <laughs> now, now, now I lost. I was so focused on that conversation, I lost everything that I had in my head. So, oh well. Um, I want to thank all of you for being here. So this has been a, actually awesome for me because when I'm coaching people in the gym, I've gone through every little piece of this is snippets and never had the opportunity actually to have the time to put that all together and share that as a package. And so I want to thank you for that. That's, um, I think, I hope you've gotten some good value at it. I, I've gotten some great value of actually being able to put that together and hand that out as a package. And I know that you guys have gotten a lot more out of that than the members of my gym. You've, you've been a member. You've never gotten what that looks like in one package, have you? So it, it is different when you're able to, to see that. Um, now we're going to talk about uh, training methods a little bit. And I just want to share a little bit of, you know, kind of where I come from a mental approach and the fact that I, I do carry a lot of <laughs> kind of multi-dimensional thought, a lot of things in my head. And uh, oftentimes I don't get the chance to, to put them out on paper or discuss it in, in a group uh, like this. And I've also been asked by those that kind of follow me, promote some of my methods online, um, that, I, that I share a little bit about uh, where I come from, from that, that mental aspect. Some, uh, some people kind of in that group kind of have seen some of the stuff that I've manufactured and make, and you know, I've got specialty equipment in here that does stuff that nothing else in the industry does. Um, we've got the specialty lifts that do basically any barbell movement, automated benches, I've built vehicles from scratch. What people don't know is I've never had a print for anything. So that's the way my mind works. Those devices right there, I just walked into the shop and cut, cut metal to here and welded it together. I don't need, I have a picture of it in my head. I can basically create a, an entire vehicle, suspension, steering, everything from scratch because I've got it in my head. And I've always been that way. School was boring early on for me, but I had enough to deal with. You know, being homeless had its own set of challenges. So, you know, that was on the side. I went to school, and I'm like, college, okay, that's going to be a time that's going to be that's going to be entertaining. I've got, uh, I'm going to be going for a dual engineering major. That's that's going to get me. Yeah, that'll be fun. And I talked about already that I was doing things already during that. You know, uh, I was also working, you know, full time as a manager and. A, buying a house, raising my sisters, doing all that shit on the same time. But school was really still pretty boring for me. In fact, I played games to make it more challenging. And this is, I don't share, I've, I've never sh shared this beyond a, a few uh, personal people that know this because it's kind of embarrassing. It doesn't fit with what I preach, which is work hard. Work hard, <laughs> create things. That's, that's a couple things um, that I believe strongly in. And so it doesn't fit with that at all. So it's a little embarrassing. That's why I don't go over it often. But uh, I ended up, I had the highest graduating uh, engineering GPA uh, when I graduated uh, engineering school. But I didn't go to school. And I didn't buy books. Just to make it more challenging because it was boring. So I would get a syllabus. I'd go to the first day of class, get a syllabus. And if it had required homework in it, I'd drop the class and find another instructor until I got a syllabus that said, same set of homework, but it'd say recommended. That way I wouldn't have to buy a book, wouldn't have to do any homework. And I could just show up on test day, take the test, get a grade, and move on. So that's how I put my full ride academic scholarship to use. Um, just to see, make it more challenging. And uh, so anyway, that's just a little background for those people that have said, you know, well, he's just a big, dumb lifter. I've been at this for 20 years, lifting, actually most of my life, um, even if it was packing rocks on the mine or helping out logging growing up, things of that nature, and uh, putting that thought process to place. Do I know all the answers? Absolutely, I do not. And I'm not saying that. But those things that I have researched and studied and thought about, 
I feel comfortable having professional discourse with anyone in that field whatsoever. That's where I come from. So we're going to talk about uh, training methods now that we've covered uh, that background. Again, like I said, I feel a little weird kind of talking about it in that manner. Shared a few things that I don't typically share because they don't really fit with uh, the life view that I uh, tell people about. So I've got some stuff on the board here. And if you look, I think both uh, Power Magazine and Elite FTS are both going to be publishing some articles shortly um, on uh, my training methodology. And I'll email uh, those to you guys as well because that will actually tie into this discussion. And we're going to go over some of that and more. So if you read those articles and when you read them, there's going to be big pieces of it that say, oh, on occasion, do this. And do it at roughly this interval. That isn't random. And there's a lot more to it. There's a lot of thought in how I employ it and when I do that in my training. And we're going to go over that and the reasons we're going to go over that. So you're going to have that piece. And that piece hasn't been shared anywhere. And this is the first time that any pieces have been written out. I've tried to display it as best I can in a visual fashion. But we can take a picture of this. I can share it online. It's going to mean nothing without the discussion that you're going to get. Super total. Training from some of the best in the industry on Olympic lifting movements, power lifting movements, life philosophy, leadership, training methodology, and how to all put it together. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for my instructional videos and check out my website, kabukiwarrior.com.